بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ویلکم یو ٹو لیکچر نمبر ٹوینٹی تھری آف دا سیریز آف آن لائن لیکچرس آئی ہوپ یو آر آل فائن اینڈ ڈوئنگ یور ورک ریگولرلی ایز یو نو دیٹ دس از جسٹ اے اسٹارٹ آف یور سیکنڈ ٹرم دیر فور آئی ووڈ ایڈوائز یو ٹو پلیز follow these lectures very keenly and do your work regularly well gentlemen in our today's lecture we are going to discuss the following aspects of lesson number six first of all we are going to take up word synonym synonyms then we are going to take up one-liner questions and last but not the least are the short answers which hold very huge significance in the context of the story so let's get started with the serious business now first of all we are going to move on to the word synonyms well gentlemen the slide you are witnessing now contains the important words from lesson number six the first word is rather a common one determination which is a noun its equivalent words are resolve fortitude grit willpower second word is stick to which is a verb and let me tell you here that when a verb takes a preposition with it it becomes an idiom also stick to means adhere cling to stand by hold next word is motive motive is a noun its synonymous words are aim motivation cause goal next word is again an idiom hit on its equivalent words are think of turn up discover or come up with acrobat again a noun which means a gymnast tumbler trapeze artist or circus performer come by which is again an idiom its equivalent words are appear surface emerge came on scene wild is an adjective its synonymous words are unruly rough strange untamed gave up again and an idiom its synonymous words are abandon relinquish given or quit ancient again an adjective its equivalent words are prehistoric archaic very old antiquated weird on again an idiom overcome weaken wear away or wear out exhibit is a verb exhibition is a noun from this verb it is pronounced as exhibit its synonymous words are show display unveil display next word is accursed which is an adjective its equivalent words are doomed ill-fated cursed while catch on again an idiom flourish thrive rise in popularity or become known famous or popular gay is being used as an adjective here it means bright dazzling cheerful or lively or colorful inaugurate which is a verb inauguration is a noun from this verb its equivalent words are swear in induct launch install next word is very very important one in the context of the uh, story melancholy is an adjective its synonymous words are sad depressed glum or gloomy next word is gilded which is an adjective its equivalent words are gilt golden gold plated or painted golden you are going to write these synonymous in your synonyms in your neat english registers please well gentlemen this is a very important slide that is being displayed on your 
monitors right now and this carries the short answers and the slide that follows it also comprises of the short answers of lesson number six you are required to please first listen very attentively and then write down all the short answers in your neat english registers which you are going to carry back at the college let's get going with these short answers the first question is what was the subject discussed at the club क्लब पर गुफ्तु का मौजू क्या था द सब्जेक्ट डिस्कस्ड एट द क्लब वॉज ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड डिटर्मिनेशन सम साइड अपॉर्चुनिटी इज रिक्वायर्ड टू सक्सीड इन लाइफ वाइल अदर्स वर ऑफ द व्यू दैट डिटर्मिनेशन इज नीडेड टू सक्सीड इन लाइफ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वट डिड टर्बर्ट थिंक ऑफ जॉर्किस आर्ग्यूमेंट Turbert did not agree to Jorkin's argument because he thought that opportunity is more important than determination to succeed in life. I repeat, Turbert did not agree to Jorkin's argument because he thought that opportunity is more important than determination to succeed in life. Question number three is very important question. How did Jorkin convince that a man could become skating champion of the Sahara? Sahara, let me tell you, is the biggest desert. of the world in africa wo kehte hai ki sahara ke registan mein skating ka champion kaise ban sakta hai koi insaan aap is baat ko jante hain ki skating ke liye ek khaas qisam ka special sa ring hota hai jo polished floor par se skating ki jati hai to sahara ke registan mein jahan reet hi reet hai ya kisi bhi registan mein skating nahi ho sakti to उसने कैसे कन्विंस किया कि एक आदमी स्केटिंग का चैंपियन बन सकता है वो भी सहारा के रेगिस्तान में द आंसर इज ही आर्ग्यूड दैट द मैन वुड मेक मनी बिल्ड अ स्केटिंग रिंक इन द सहारा एंड ऑर्गेनाइज अ कंपटीशन देयर ही वुड बिकम चैंपियन ऑफ द सहारा इफ ही रियली गेव ऑल हिज टाइम टू इट आई रिपीट ही आर्ग्यूड दैट अ मैन वुड मेक मनी बिल्ड अ स्केटिंग रिंक इन द सहारा एंड ऑर्गेनाइज अ कॉम्पिटिशन देयर he would become champion of the sahara if he really gave all his time to it number 4 how did gorgias persuade his people to make their country strong this is also a very very important question rather the most important in this exercise how did gorgias persuade his people to make their country strong he persuaded his people that the court acrobat would display perfect physical fitness which would inspire and strengthen their soldiers to and enable them to win the just rights of their nation in victorious battles against their accursed neighbors i repeat he persuaded his people that the court acrobat would display perfect physical fitness which would inspire and strengthen their soldiers and enable them to win the just rights of their nation in victorious battles against their accursed neighbors question number 5 is the last question on this slide what was the view point of parents of gorgias gorgias ke walden ka kya nazariya tha his parents were of the view that determination and hard work are key to success there are no shortcuts in life and only a determined person can succeed in life i repeat his parents were of the view that determination and hard work are key to success there are no shortcuts in life and only a determined person can succeed in life well students this is the second slide which comprises of the short answers which begins with question number 6 the statement of the question is what were the arrangements made for the function of inauguration This is also a very very important question. उस फंक्शन के अफ्ताह के लिए अफ्ताह के फंक्शन के लिए क्या अरेंजमेंट्स किए गए थे वेल द आंसर इज द ग्रेट थ्रोन रूम वॉज टर्न इन टू अ काइंड ऑफ जिमनेजियम ह्यूज कर्टन्स ऑफ रेड एंड गोल्ड वर हंग अलॉन्ग द वॉल्स द गिल्डेड रोप्स वर हंग फ्रॉम द सीलिंग अ मैग्निफिसेंट रेड वेलवेट suit of red velvet was got ready for the acrobat a band of musicians played softly and a neat row of hurdles was arranged on the polished floor it was 
indeed a splendid scene i repeat the great throne room was turned into a kind of gymnasium huge curtains of red and gold were hung along the walls the gilded ropes were hung from the ceiling a magnificent suit of red velvet was got ready for the acrobat a band of musicians played softly and a neat row of hurdles was arranged on the polished floor it was indeed a splendid scene question number 7 describe the scene of inauguration it is also equally important question it was a brilliant scene altogether people had gathered there in huge numbers there were brilliant dresses and ladies the people from the royal family were seated at a raised platform with principal officers standing behind and beside them it was a brilliant scene on the hall i repeat it was a brilliant scene people had gathered there in huge number there were brilliant dresses and ladies the people were from the people from the royal family were seated at a raised platform with principal officers standing behind and beside them it was a brilliant scene indeed question number 8 what were the feelings of the old man on the occasion the answer is the old man felt sad on the occasion because the people had gathered there to crown him for his life's work but he could not perform any physical activity which made him sad i repeat the old man felt sad on the occasion because the people had gathered there to crown him for his life's work but he could not perform any physical activity which made him sad question number 9 did gorgia use any shortcut in life to achieve his ambition no he did not use any shortcut to achieve his ambition he had to stick to his ambition for more than 60 years to get it achieved i repeat no he did not use any shortcuts to achieve his ambition he had to stick to his ambition for more than 60 years to get it achieved number 10 how long had gorgias to stick to his ambition to achieve it this question is already been answered in question number 9 anyhow i repeat it once more he had to stick to his ambition for more than 60 years to achieve it he had to stick to his ambition for more than 60 years to achieve it well student this is the last slide of our today's lecture which contains one liner questions i have repeated it time and time again that these one liner questions are extremely important because they'll make you go through the story extensively and thoroughly and once you go through the story completely then you will be able to answer all the mcqs or the short answers which can perhaps be taken from the text itself therefore the purpose is absolutely clear in my mind uh, i want to make you to read the whole story <coughs> well you have to answer these questions question number 1 what was the name of the young man number 2 what was his age when he won athletic competition at his school what was his age when he won athletic competition at the school number 3 what wild idea came up with what wild idea he came up with wo kis ajeeb o gareeb khayal ke sath samne aaya number 5 what did he do to achieve his ambition usne apna maqsad hasil karne ke liye kya kiya number 6 what was the color of the uniform of the court acrobat what was the color of the uniform of the court acrobat number 7 where was he wandering when he came to the country the young it is being asked about jorkens where was jorkens wandering when he came to that country where was the ceremony held where was the ceremony held number 9 where were the members of royal family seated where were the members of the royal family seated number 10 what did the band play softly what did the band play softly number 
वॉट वॉज अरेंज ऑन द पॉलिश्ड फ्लोर चमकदार फर्श पर क्या चीज तरतीब से रखी गई थी बनाई दी गई थी तरतीब दी गई थी नंबर ट्वेल्व हाउ लॉन्ग हैड गॉर्जियस टू स्टिक टू हिज एम्बिशन टू अचीव इट हाउ लॉन्ग हैड गॉर्जियस टू स्टिक टू हिज एम्बिशन टू अचीव इट नंबर थर्टीन नेम द ऑथर ऑफ द स्टोरी यू हैव टू name the author of the story last question is write down the names of three characters mentioned in the story there are only three characters mentioned in the story you all you have to do is to write their names well gentlemen this concludes our lesson number 6 i hope you would have got all the answers covered uh, which might have crept into your mind after reading lesson number 6 with that i'm signing off wish you all the very best take very good care of yourself allah hafiz gentlemen